In the beginning, there was no daylight, and the people lived in darkness. They knew where daylight was, but they could not get it. It was too far to the east. Two young men lived in a village in that dark land. They were Mink and Raven. These two men wanted to be the fastest runners and the highest jumpers. They ran long distances and swam all the time to make themselves strong. Soon they could run very far without getting tired. The people of the dark village watched the men and felt proud of them. One day they decided to send Mink and Raven to the east to get the daylight. The young men agreed and they set off for the east. Mink and Raven traveled and traveled. As they traveled to the east, it became light for part of the day. The farther they went to the east, the longer the days became. Finally, they came to a big lake. They swam a long ways and finally reached the far eastern shore. On a hill above the big lake, they saw a village. This is where the daylight was kept. Raven said to Mink, You are the fastest. Go and see which house daylight is in. I will wait here. Mink started going up the hill, but as he walked, he used his power to change himself into an old man. When he reached the top of the hill, he had white hair and was all stooped over, walking with a cane. Mink was a pitiful-looking old man when he walked into the village. The people of the village gathered around the strange old man. He told them in a scratchy voice, Take me to the chief of the daylight. Mink was so old and bent that people took pity on him and led him to the house of the chief. The chief took him in, and his wife began to fix a bed for Mink at the back of the house, away from any drafts. But Mink told them that he was old. I go out often at night, so he wanted to be by the door. The chief agreed, and Mink laid down in his bed by the door. Daylight was kept in a big bag that hung from the roof of the house. During that night and all the next day, Mink watched the chief as he handled the daylight. In the evening, the chief grabbed the open bag and slowly closed it until everything was dark. Then in the morning, the chief slowly opened the bag until it was wide open and everything was bright daylight. Mink carefully watched every action of the chief. On the second night, he decided to take the bag. The village was quiet, and the chief was sleeping, so Mink put his hand on the bag. Instantly, the village began to glow with morning light. What's the matter? People began to yell as they came out of their houses. Quickly, Mink jumped back into bed, flipping ashes onto himself as he lay down. Hearing the people yelling, the chief woke up. He looked around and saw the old man sleeping by the door. Everything was dark. He told the people, Nothing is wrong. The old man is sleeping, covered with ashes. The people went back to bed. On the third day, a strange bird flew over the village. Mink recognized the bird as Raven, so he took some food and walked into the forest. He found Raven there and gave him the food. He told Raven not to show himself anymore, for that night he was going to get the daylight. On the third night, Mink got out of bed and walked to the leather bag hanging from the roof. He grabbed the bag tightly so no light would come out, and he tore it loose. Right away, he no longer looked like an old man. He turned around and ran out of the chief's house.
the chief came out of his house and shouted, The daylight bag is gone! The old man is gone! The people all ran out of their houses shouting, What's going on? The people began to chase Mink. As he ran, his grip on the bag loosened, and the village began to glow with morning light. Just as they got near, he threw the bag to Raven. Raven ran and ran, with all the people chasing him. As he ran, his grip on the bag loosened, and more daylight came out. At the lake, Raven threw the bag to Mink, who was waiting with the canoe. He had broken all of the other canoes, so the people began to swim after them. They paddled fast out onto the lake, and then Mink moved his hand fast to make a thick fog. The people swimming got completely lost, so in that way they lost their daylight. Mink and Raven paddled toward the west and landed the canoe on the shore of their own land. They started running to the west, bringing the daylight bag with them. Mink and Raven were still having a hard time keeping the bag closed, so more daylight was escaping. The people in the dark village knew that Mink and Raven were coming because it was getting lighter. Finally, they came to their own people, and they opened the bag all of the way. Their village was bright with daylight, and the people were happy. They told Mink and Raven that they would always take care of the daylight bag. As time went by, Mink became very good at taking care of the daylight bag, and he made the days and night the same length. But Raven always had trouble taking care of the bag. Sometimes Raven made long days and short nights, and sometimes he made short days and long nights. Can you tell who's taking care of the daylight bag today?